Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and it has been an interesting week for our family. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that our little fur baby, our cat Andy, um, has been going through some major health issues. Uh, he's already diabetic. He's been diabetic for a few years now, went into remission for a little bit, came out of remission, so he's diabetic, so he has to have insulin injections. But then he got pancreatitis, so that like totally threw off his glucose and it was sky high. So that's why he went into the hospital. Um, so he's back home with us now, but he likely has a kidney stone. And so we're having to do all this stuff with him. We're basically force feeding him, giving him medicine. It's just been an ordeal. So if you could say a little prayer for our fur baby Andy and for us, because it's just, it's stressful. But um, you know, we're just, one day at a time getting through it. So um, it's been an interesting week, but I've still been playing with makeup every day. So I do have some favorites to share with you. So let's jump in. So I broke out my Urban Decay Pulp Fiction palette again this week. This is so good. I hope it's still available because it was on clearance for like $16. And then if you get it when the VIB is still going on, it makes it even cheaper. It's so good. Um, this week I did a black smoky eye. It was amazing. It's so just these shadows are so creamy and pigmented. I just featured this like a couple of weeks ago, so this really isn't new information, but I just wanted to mention it again because I used it again this week and I always like to be honest about what I'm using. Um, this is just, it's great by itself for just a really beautiful basic eye or a really pretty smoky eye, but it's also a really nice companion palette that you can use it with others just as like blending shades, as darkening up your outer corner shades, brow bone highlight. It's just so good. And especially for the cheap price tag, I think it's a must have for sure. And then I also broke out my Too Faced Natural at Night palette. I don't know where you can still get this because I don't know, I don't think our Sephora still has it, um, but it's a really pretty fall palette. Um, I'm wearing it today. I do have one other shadow that I'm about to tell you about. But it's just great. I mean, it's got blending colors. It's got darkening up your outer corner colors. Um, these are really pretty lid colors right here. Just really shimmery and beautiful. Um, I love this palette. And I think it just really doesn't get as much um, attention or hype as some others. But I mean, I really love it, especially for the fall because I feel like it's very kind of warm toned and I don't know, like woodsy almost. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's got, you know, greens and browns and, um, I mean, you can see it's just really nicely pigmented and it's a complete palette. I mean, you've got everything you need in there. You've got blending shades, you've got, um, darker shades. You've even got that, um, kind of yellowy color. This isn't a perfect brow bone highlight. It's a little yellowy, but it totally works. So it is a complete palette. You've got everything you need for a whole look. So I really appreciate that when a palette's like that. So yeah, I really like this one. So if you can still find it, I would say it's a great one for the fall, really nice quality. Um, and I do really love it. I kind of forget about it, but every time I break it back out and use it, I really love the looks that it creates. And then on my lids today, and I also wore this another day this week, is ColourPop's Get Lucky. Oh my goodness, this is perfection. It is the most beautiful, oh, light metallic gold. I mean, oh my goodness. Gosh, just look at it. It is perfect. Oh, I love it. And this is just a great um, topper kind of a shade that you can really grab any kind of blending shades and then just use this on your lid for that kind of metallic finish, especially for blue eyes. I feel like golds really bring out blue eyes, so I love wearing gold. But this one is just like there's nothing bad you can say about it. It is beautiful. And I use these, um, like when I'm going to use a ColourPop shadow kind of on the inner half of my lid, I use the Real Techniques Detailer Brush. It's really tiny. Um, I have really small lids, so that's why I use that. Um, but it's just perfect, because you can just add just a little bit of metallic sheen to your eye look. It just kicks it up a notch, and it makes it amazing. And also that brush is pretty dense, which I like to use these with a dense brush, um, like a concealer brush or something like that. Some kind of synthetic, small, dense brush works really well for these. So that one's a great one to use with this. But, oh my gosh, this color is amazing. And then earlier in the week, I broke out my Jordana blush in Coco. And this looks really scary in the pot. Um, as it does in the swatch too. <laughs> it's, let me try to do it lightly. 
it kind of reminds me of Mac's um, Sweet as Cocoa in that it's it's got a lot of brown in it, it's got warm tones, it's got some corally kind of colors in it. It just is beautiful on the cheeks. And I use this with my black smoky eye look because I feel like a blush like this is very neutral and it gives your cheeks some dimension and some shape. It's not like it's a contouring blush necessarily, but it's almost towards that direction where it's not like you're adding more color to your face necessarily, like a different color theme or area, like a pink or a coral. It's like just a very neutral basic blush that's gonna go, but still give your face some color and some dimension. So I really love this one, 250. Jordana blushes, I love them. They last really well on the skin. They're awesome, they are wonderful quality. And then what I wore on my cheeks almost every day this week is the Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio Highlighting Blush in Mauve. And several of you guys mentioned this in my favorite fall blushes video that you love this one, and I kind of forgot about it because it is really beautiful. I'm wearing it today, oh, it's just gorgeous. Um, it's like a quilted kind of a pattern that all blends together to make this really beautiful glowy mauve color. Oh, it just like catches the light, it's so pretty. Now this one can get a little cray cray on your skin. <laughs> so you kind of have to um, build slowly, like don't get crazy at the beginning, otherwise you're gonna have crazy blush face. But I mean, it's gorgeous, it's very, um, I think it's still very wearable and goes with a lot of different looks because it's, again, in that kind of just mauve brown kind of family that it's not necessarily doing something else to your makeup look. It's just kind of going. Um, but I just really, ugh, I really like these blushes. They are very nice. They get kind of muddy and ugly looking when you swirl them all together, but they're really beautiful. And with this one, you can't really see it now because I've muddied it all up but it's a little bit lighter on this side, so I have been concentrating more on this side because it makes it a little bit more wearable because um, there's some darker colors over here that can really get dark on my skin, but they're really, really pretty. I like these a lot. For lips this week, oh my goodness, vampy, amazing lip color. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Transylvania. It just sounds dark and it is really dark. It looks darker in the tube. I mean, the tube looks black, but it really is more of just a super dark, plummy purple. Oh my gosh, <gasps> that's so pretty. Now, I will say about this, it's a favorite more for the color. I wouldn't say that I'm in love with the formula because it can be pretty drying, and I wear matte lips a lot, so I can pretty much handle a matte lip and I can handle slightly more drying formulas but this one it's one of those it reminds me a lot of the Lime Crime Velveteens but not as long wearing but it feels the same on the lips in that like if you want to touch it up or something you pretty much have to wipe it off and start all over otherwise things get weird you know it gets kind of like uneven and patchy so I wouldn't say it wears off the best but I love the color I love the price tag because I think it's around five dollars or so and I just feel like it's so vampy and cool looking so a slight flaw in the formula that you kind of have to remove it but maybe that's just the nature of it being a matte lip cream you know it's just kind of that kind of a product but I love the color so vampy and fun and I love the name too I think that's an added little bonus and then what I'm wearing today I really like this lip color and I've had this for a little bit and kind of forgotten about it and honestly when I first got it I didn't like this color on me but I really like it now it's one of the Maybelline um, the buffs and this is in stormy Sahara I think I think I've fallen in love with browns a little bit more so maybe that's what happened you know because the the color's the same one I bought, so it's not like the color changed. <laughs> but I feel like my love of brown lipsticks has kind of grown. And then the lip liner I'm wearing with it is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Spice. This is just a great one that goes with, you know, pretty much any kind of brown lip color. But I just really like that. It's a very warm, peachy, nudie brown. So it's kind of in between a nude and a brown. It's not full-on dark brown. It's more of kind of a peachy nudie brown but I just really like it you know I wore this when um, I think I wore it with that black smoky eye but I know I wore it at a couple of other days just where 
you know, I needed something quick to throw on that was gonna go, that was gonna match. And I love the color statement lipsticks from Maybelline. They really are some of my favorites because they're like $5.50 from Target or Walmart around that price. So they're really inexpensive and I love the formula. I feel like they are so creamy. I feel like they wear a good amount of time on the lips and they just have so many different colors. These are, I would say in my top three lipsticks from the drugstore, just the brand and the formula of them is definitely one of my favorites. So I've really been enjoying that stormy Sahara color. I think it's just a really pretty one. And I don't hear a lot of people talk about this particular shade. And then I have kind of a semi fooey It's not a full on, I can't stand this product, but it's just kind of like, meh. You know, some, some of them are just like that. Um, this is one of the Revlon Color Stay quads. This is in Addictive. Um, it says new, but this has been around for a long time. I've had this for a long time. I just broke this out this week and thought, you know, I'm going to give this a go. And then I remembered why I don't ever use it. <laughs> it's just kind of okay. Now when I swatch it, it looks totally fine. But I feel like once I get it on my eyes, the pigmentation is just blah. You can see it more in the swatch. Now the dark brown color is nice. That one is nice. But this one is just so... Yeah, you know, what's the big whoop? It's not all that great. This one was okay for a blending shade. I wouldn't say this is horrible, but I don't know how much these are. I wanna say they're probably around $7 or something like that maybe, maybe even more, I don't know, from the drugstore. I just feel like for $7 or $8 or whatever this costs, it's probably not worth it. I would say if it's $3, yeah, I think it's worth it. But you know what I mean? Like, I would rather, I don't know, spend a few more dollars and get something on clearance that's really good or get um, some ColourPop shadows or something like that. So I feel like this isn't horrible, but I just, I'm, it's just okay. You know what I mean? And I think that's kind of the challenging part about eyeshadows from the drugstore. I feel like they're just kind of okay as a general rule. There are definitely some good ones like L'Oreal Infallibles, the Wet n Wild eyeshadows, um, the Maybelline color tattoos for bases. So I feel like there are some really good ones out there, but there's a lot of ones that are like this that are just kind of, yeah, you know what I mean? So this was a meh this week. All right guys, so those are all my favorites and my semi fooey for the week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And as always, I wanna know what you've been loving this week. I wanna know how your week was, what your weekend plans are, just how are you doing? Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm always happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.